hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about the difference between gravitational force and electric force electric force which is also known as a coulomb force and we will discuss their difference between a gravitational force and electric force as we know the formula of gravitational force is fg is equal to g m1 m2 over r square so this gravitational force has a formula having g is a constant is product of mass 1 and mass 2 is inversely proportional to the square of the distance so the coulomb force is equal to fc is equal to k into q1 q2 over r square as you have seen both formulas the gravitational force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between so the gravitational force is a force which is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between two masses so fg is inversely proportional to the r square in other case for the column force and we will see that this force is also is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between two charges q1 and q2 so if we talk about the difference between these two forces so i will first draw two charges having uh, distance placed a uh, distance of r so if the distance is r so the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance in the first difference the gravitational force and the electric force or column force have same phenomena having different formulas but their uh, logic is same the gravitational force and column force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so the gravitational force is only attractive force it means that when a body is placed at some height it only attracts but in the case of electric force or column force it it is attractive as well as repulsive force between these two charges so if we if two charges are uh, of same polarity like if two charges are positive then they repel each other or if two charges are negative having same polar polarity then they are also repulsive if two opposite charges or opposite polarity of the charges are present or placed in front of each other then they attract each other but in the case of gravitational force it only it, it only attracts all the bodies towards the center of the mass of center of the gravity or center of the earth so but in case of electric force or column force it is attractive as well as repulsive force as you have seen in this case two charges having same polarity of positive charge and positive charge but they will repel each other so i will correct it but in case of positive and negative charges the uh, polarity is different or polarity is opposite so we will say that these charges are attractive each other so this is a condition or this is a one uh, specification or difference between electric force and gravitational force and other difference of gravitational force to the electric force is that um, by using the formula f is equal to g m1 m2 over r square and the formula for the gravitational force is equal to this one and g is very very small if we find out the value of g the g is very very small but in case of column force which is equal to k q1 q2 over r square in this case k is a constant value but its value is very high so this is the difference of these two forces and k value of k is usually is 9 into 10, 10 raised to power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square or uh, which is equal to uh, newton meter square per coulomb square this is a this is a value and its units of the value of k in the other difference for the uh, gravitational force is medium dependent or medium independent so the gravitational force is medium independent but the electric force or column force is medium dependent it means that any medium which is placed between the electric uh, the place between mass and the earth then it has a gravitational force then gravitational force is medium independent it will remain same but the electric force is a medium dependent it means that when any medium or any sheet of paper or plastic or wood it is placed between these two charges then the uh, strength of the electric field or electric field intensity reduces or increases depending upon the 
nature of the medium or material so it means that electric force or coulomb force between two charges is dependent on medium it may be increase or decrease but in case of gravitational force it is medium independent and in this case we will see that all the objects coming towards the earth is independent of the medium between them between the earth and mass but it means that earth gravitational pull is unif universal to all the objects irrespective of the medium between it uh, between mass and the object the uh, other definition or other difference may be come from generic or uh, in generic so generics uh, the electric force and coulomb force are both are generic forces it means that they are natural forces natural mean uh, we cannot put or we cannot increase or decrease the gravitational pull uh, and we cannot increase or decrease the uh, pull or attraction or repulsion between the two, these two charges and up till now we have discussed about the difference between gravitational force and electric force or coulomb force in which we have discussed their formulas their dependency and their nature and we will see you in the next video see you soon bye bye